Let's do this. Hi, everybody. I'm Patricia Moreno, and welcome to a Facebook Live. And I'm super excited because I'm introducing you to, maybe some of you already know her, Lauren Zander, who is a dear friend, a badass, kick-ass life coach, and so much more. We've known each other for so long. So pretty much we're going to be using this time to catch up and have <laughs> what's new and actually how you can also participate in some of the stuff that Lauren's doing now. Um, quick bio, she's the co-founder of the Hendel Group. It's a coaching program that you guys do corporations, you do individuals, you are in colleges. It's so widespread and amazing. Um, the author of Maybe It's You, Maybe It's You, and I see so many people loving and and just falling all over you for this book. And I know, again, firsthand that what is in that book is truly life-changing. And also launching Inner You, which we're gonna talk about as well, coming up. Mm -hmm. so stay tuned. But what I really wanna get to today is kind of the, uh, you have so many great methods and so many things that just have helped me personally too. And just kinda wanna share an overall view of What's the foundation that gets people to really make these kind of lasting changes, especially the type of people that are having a hard time? Because when I met you, oh. I was a mess. And uh, I, I think I needed someone exactly like you to kick my butt because being a know-it-all, being somebody who was successful in my life, being somebody who had, you know, didn't want to be told what to do in any way, uh, needed someone who was really going to help me not only see what was possible, but give me the tools to break out of the old ways of doing things. And uh, that's you. That's you. So what do you want to say? You want to say hi, say anything about um, a kickoff, what, you're, what, what it is that you feel passionate about, about this whole system that you created and have helped yeah thousands with sure and um so the my i i'm in love with my method i also don't get to stop using it on myself i i have not found a day i don't need it to use on myself um because what it's really about is taking over your inner dialogue and uh giving it something to do other than what it already always does whether you can get conscious to it or not, right? So, you know, I really love to break into our main frame and uh, change the software going on in there and see what's possible for humans, right? And then our favorite new tagline is, we're teaching people to human better mm. and human is a verb and it's not done, it's not a noun, it's not a th person, place, or thing, right? It really is yet to be seen what's possible with being human. And so the whole, the work I've been doing for now, oh, 25 years, <laughs> right, is, um, we're getting old, Patricia, but not really, right? I think we, we just agreed before the call, before we got rolling on this that we were, I was taking Patricia, we agreed we were going to 120. Yeah. And that, and that 97 is the new 117, That's right? Like, right. well, a little exhausted and we look like shit by that point, maybe. Yeah, but we feel good. But at 117, right? Yeah. We'll be, we'll make a new vote. Anyway. I mean, I mean. Anyway. I mean. So it tees right into the method, which is I break life out into 12 different areas. And the reason I break a life out into 12 different areas, not just because there are 12 different areas, because there are, but really so a person doesn't put all their little eggs in one basket and that they really learn, like each one of us needs to learn how to language a dream and mm. talk about what we want in life not out there, but like really learn how to talk about our aspirations, our dreams, our ambitions in a way that inspires us and inspires others, right? Like where is that book in school? Literally, where are we studying how to language our own dreams and visions for ourselves? And the answer is nowhere, right? Like, oh, we must learn about Christopher Columbus before we learn what, right? So anyway, so I care very much that people learn a language of how to dream and how to even talk about themselves in a positive 
now you understand why we love each other because yeah. you teach positive language in some of the best ways I've ever experienced. Mm, thank right, you. Where, that's where you and I mwah, kiss, kiss, kiss yeah. at the gate, right? But I'm teaching how to have a vision in your life in 12 different areas. Then I teach you to rate your current life against that dream on a scale of one to 10. And then I even teach you what, what it means to be a seven in your life or a six or a four in an area. And you could like, I, it really is a state of being to be a four and you're letting yourself be a four, right? So if you haven't gotten laid in two years, promise your sex life, maybe even you have a nice vibrator, but promise your sex life is down in the fours, right? And then there's a way you're thinking about love and you're thinking about like, so your inner dialogue is not connected to your aspirations. Your inner dialogue is connected to your resignation or your hauntings from your past or things you've never resolved. So I, this whole method is about breaking into how to know yourself really well, start to dream, start to hear your inner dialogue, and it goes deeper and deeper. So I go into your personality traits and I go into your haunting memories and I connect all of these jobs so that you can start to hear why you are the way you are, mm. but really not so you can suffer, but so you can take over your inner dialogue and connect it to your aspirations and start talking, like Patricia says, I am strong, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. and, get, and really get yourself into a state of love. Um, but I deal a lot with why we're not in a state of love. We're in a state of fear mm -hmm. and um, moodiness and weather report. Like, and so then there's all the language of how to break into your inner dialogue yeah, let's go over that because I think yes. that's really, I think that's so helpful. And I think even no matter what is a great takeaway for people to start relating to their, their inner conversations and their inner voice in the way that you've broken it out, right? Mm -hmm. So I love the, the, um, the idea of the chicken and the brat. Can we go there? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, so explain that. Imagine, so what happens is, we don't hear our inner dialogue. We don't really hear it. You might hear it. You might be conscious to it. You may, like you're either good at that or you're not good at that, right? Mm -hmm. Meditation is designed to get you to sit down, shut up and hear how annoying that voice is. So mm -hmm. you can even soothe yourself to not listen to it, right? So it's like the world of paying attention to the voice in your head. Well, that voice in your head creates your mood, creates what you ate for breakfast, creates how you were with your kid, creates how you were with yourself, creates how you are in the mirror, create. It is whether you hear it or not, you go, I love my life. I don't love my life. Welcome to your inner dialogue. Mm -hmm. Hi. Yeah, you, you must be, but it's Oz behind this, the curtain. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Wizard of Oz. Okay. Okay. So breaking into that, you need what to look for so you can actually hear it. Right. Yeah. If you don't have what you're looking for, you can't find it. Okay, so I give three words, three concepts for negative inner dialogue. We all have it. Are we human? We all have it. No, you yeah. have, dang, that means you too. Yeah. Me too, right? Okay, and one of the voices that Patricia is asking me to talk about is the voice of the chicken in you. I can't say that. I can't ask for that. I can't do that. I can't do an open mic. I can't be a writer. I can't be, I can't, I can't, I can't. Chicken speaks in fear, worry. It speaks in fear. I can't. It speaks in worry. <gasps> what if, what if, what if, what if, what if my kid, what if this, what if that, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, thank you. Um, but then, but then, right, if anything that sends alerts out and fear-based, annoying, don't lie, it teaches you to lie. Oh, I had the best day today. You look fabulous, right, right. Oh, I sent the email yesterday, right? <laughs> no, right? So it teaches us to lie and pretend we've got it better than we do. It teaches us to not tell the truth when we're upset. You know, basically my joke is it, it, it basically built the Prozac, you know, like the world of depression comes from all our fears and us not believing in ourselves and taking the right actions. Mm -hmm. That's one voice. You don't have it. You have it in spades. However, you have it where you have it. 
you and never, you, if I made you make a lie list, which I do in my book and make you do with me, which is why most people may run away from me, <laughs> is um, you have a lie list and everything you lie about comes from what you're protecting for others or yourself. But all of that is fear-based. Mm -hmm. Like if I told someone what I really did, they'd hate me. Yeah, well, but you really did it. Right. But, you know, maybe you, you need the hate. So you learn. Right. Yeah. So so there's a lot of ways we stay the same to avoid getting in trouble, which is all fear based logic, not love based logic, mm -hmm. fear based logic. Mm -hmm. okay. And everybody has it. Everybody, everybody, everybody. I mean, 100 percent, 100 percent, 100 percent every day. It isn't that I don't hear the chicken. It's do I butcher my chicken every day? Mm -hmm. Right. And the more you know what the right actions are to take so you're proud of yourself, the more you'll be conquering either your chicken, your fear. Right. So I just got off the phone with a client who's dying to be a very successful writer. Mm -hmm. You're ready for what they don't know how to do every day. Right. <laughs> And I'm like, listen, I can't even talk to you till you're writing two hours a day. And if you write for two hours a day, and I mean seven days a week, right? Or else you don't get your Instagram on Netflix. Like, and then I put in promises and consequences. I, if you do it for two weeks, and I mean, really, you have no idea how much better you'll feel about being a writer. Like even think you deserve, right? I can't talk to you about losing weight and how much you're hating yourself until we actually put you on a diet for a little bit so you could like yourself again and trust yourself some. It's mm -hmm. all inner dialogue. Mm -hmm. The other voice in that head of ours that is available for all of us to be a nightmare is the voice of the brat. I'll do it tomorrow. I've never been good at that. Leave me alone. I shouldn't have to. You do it. It's not right? fair. It's not. Oh my God. Isn't it? <laughs> It's so not fair. Oh my God. I don't want to have to. Again? Me? Why me? Me too. <laughs> not that one. The other one. I didn't yeah. mean that. Right? Yeah. So it's, it literally is the way we, we are tantruming. It gets us a cookie. It gets us another cocktail. It gets us to be frustrated. It gets us not to tell the truth. It, tell, it gets us not to have sex tonight, right? It's, it's exhausted from its generosity, right? Right. I gave so much today. I, can, I, I deserve a break. I need a cookie. I, I need a cookie. I need a, and most people need a drink. Yeah. Right. Right. If you only got a drink, if you were happy, when you came home from work and you didn't get a drink, a if you were happy that, people, right? Like they'd all figure out they better do more of their work at work so they could come home and be happy with themselves so they can enjoy their cocktail. It's like the, yeah. if people only got celery when they were upset, much m more people would be much happier, mm -hmm. right? If you get a cookie when you're upset, you get cookies, right? Yeah. Like, okay. hey, folks, have we figured out the reward system is a little backwards? Yes. So anyway, the inner dialogue of the brat, we all have a brat. Everyone can almost feel mine. <laughs> I've been chaining up my brat forever. Okay, and then the last thing is the voice of the weather reporter. This one's really insidious and really, uh, like, this is where our theories about life, others, ourselves, the world are pervasive. I've never been good at that. The world will never understand me well enough. I've never, I've, I've never done it before. Why can I do it now? Right? So there's these big sweeping generalizations. It's my that age. I, it's my, you know, it's that time, my parents, my family, my genes. If it hasn't happened by now, is it ever going to happen? Yeah. What's the point? Right? I can't have a baby. I can't have a baby the way I want to. I can't have three. Right? Right? I can't have what I really, really, really want. Mm -hmm. Anything that's telling you you can't have what you want and then has a theory why is a lie in my book. There really are facts. There really are facts. Most mm -hmm. things are not factual. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Want, and then there really are, it's not a theory. If you're 45 years old and have never played basketball and you want to make the team, you want to make an MB, you know, an NBA team. Yes, you are screwed. It will not be happening. There are, that's a fact. And it is a theory based fact. Yes. Yes, it's true. No, you never know. Right. Yes. It's, 
I don't know. It depends on if you like are lightning in a bottle and you, uh, I don't know. Right. Even that has suspect to it. Right. Like a one in a cabillion. Right. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, is we generalize about why things won't turn out. And then we have, and that's a voice of, you know, how it is, you know, how it'll always be, or don't even try, or you've never been good at that, or you can never run a marathon, whatever yours is saying, you can never even love something or have fun doing something. Mm -hmm. Like we, we write off everything and then blame the world or blame our parents or blame the world, you know, our lover. Yeah. Gets us off the hook. Yeah, I even have like I like I even can go into orgasms, right? Like the woman who goes, I've only been able to have orgasms this way. I can't have them that way. And I'm like, really? Want to bet? Right? If I gave you a million dollars, if you figured out how to have it that way, you don't want the game. And they're like, a million? A million? And I get to have sex all the time, and then I figure out how that does not sound that like a bad deal. Can you get me a million bucks? I do it for that. And I'm like. Exactly, humans. We won't do it for our self-pleasure or understanding we can change, but we'll do it for money. Yeah, yeah. And I think the thing that's so um, helpful about the way that you do it is it really is about waking up, right? We get so settled into something that's just so mediocre and easy and to put the effort into making the change really requires really requires that we activate that love, that desire, right? We got to really, really want it. And I feel like so many people have such a, I, I mean, I too, whenever I'm about to grow, it's like, can I wake up the real passion for that so that I can have the energy to get through it? So you do that really well when you break the areas up and you have people rate and have people see what's in the way. And, and I think just that exercise alone, like really look at all the areas of your life, not just the one area and really start to ask yourself, what is it that I really, really want? I'm blown away all the time at how hard it is for people to actually verbalize what they really want, like really, really want. Yeah, it's um, people have a PhD in fear and things not turning out and being smart, like in the head, Mm -hmm. not deep in the heart, Mm -hmm. right? And rather than your head is the GPS for getting, like it knows how to, it should be working for the heart, Mm -hmm. right? It's it's protecting the heart, Mm -hmm. right? And like the generation before did that, the generation before did that, the generation, like so security and safety and not getting hurt is is the laws of fear. Right. Not the laws of aerodynamics, the laws of fear. Right. And so the desire to protect our hearts is the opposite of a desire to fulfill on our heart's mission. Like they're, it's dark and light, right? It's up against each other. And spiritually speaking, you want the light to win, right? But that really means risk taking, gumption, dreaming, failing, getting hurt, right? Like really getting hurt. Yeah. Like, and that hurt is good for you. Right. And that, and you know, yeah, let, let me, let me see the human that wants to feel that one. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we really are up against ourselves because fear really is quite a ruler. Yeah. And, and we got to really change that relationship. And again, going back to really being clear what you want and why you want it. There's so much power in that so much. And so talk about inner you I know that's coming up and it's an amazing program. Thank you. So, well, first of all, I'll say that the main reason a person really doesn't want to dream and get talking about it out loud Mm -hmm. is because the next thing that happens is you're going to have to do it. If you go, I'm going to run the next marathon. I want to make a baby. I want to find the love of my life. Everyone's like, are you dating? What happened? Can I set you up with someone? What should we do? How are we going? Right? Like the minute you speak a dream into reality, you need to do it or someone, right? right? Or you are failing instantly because you didn't do it the next day. So if you never speak big, you never look small. If you never speak big, you never have to grow, right? right? So 
So speak in dreams and speaking them publicly and doing my doing inner you. So inner you is literally my best talks mm -hmm. with clients that come on and share their real story. It's like I've been doing this for 20, almost 25 years. And I figured out how to get it short and sexy and cool and funny and good words. And I figured out how to get it online so you can click mm. and it comes up and you can fill out your answers and you can get a buddy. So you mm. can literally get an accountability buddy. And I have a promise tracker because we teach people to make promises and make them public. And you can link it to your Facebook. Like you can actually, if you're actually not full of shit and you really want to get your dreams to happen and you want to play, you don't have to put it on Facebook. I understand that once. Gary, hi chicken, right? But really, I want to make promises alone, right? Um, so this is really an entire system that is for people who want to rock their lives and their world and come together as a community, mm -hmm. meet each other, and um, do the work together. And then there's weekly coaching. If you have any questions, there's weekly coaching for free once you bought in. And once you buy into this program, it's yours for life, right? Oh, and awesome. any updates you get are yours for life, right? I may build an entirely new program called the Three H's Guide to Love or inner you corporate, which is all corporate, Ben, but I am never going to make you, if once you buy corporate, any new corporate shit, that's yours, any, right? So right. I'm building it so it's really fair and that it's really more about the community and the conversation and then people participating and rocking it out. Yeah. So that, that took me 20 years. Yes, I know. <laughs> you, but you've been working on that to find the right way to do it for so long, for so long. It's so exciting that now actually people can have access to you in this way that really makes it affordable, doable for everybody, anybody, anywhere. So if yeah. you're serious and you're like, I just want to really finally do this. Yeah. This is a great way to do it. And we're tracking you, right? We'll send you, right? We will not bug you, but mm. we're tracking you like you make, pro like we're there. We're like really want people to, to change their lives and not like, we're not like, we're really dealing with that. This is no joke. And that it's a, it's a, it's a pack of warriors, just mm -hmm. like your, like your gang mm. is, is, is real spiritual warriors out mm. to have their inner dialogue match their power, their body, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and I would also say that it will teach a language and, 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 and it, the, the other thing that's really fun and really very specific is I'm not, I'm cursing, I'm <laughs> teaching how to stop mana, <laughs> I'm teaching people how to stop mana fucking themselves, right? And, and, and teaching higher consciousness, right? Like I'm teaching funny words so that we can tell on ourselves and really evolve ourselves and love ourselves, but it's not for everybody, Yeah. right? Yeah. Like it's really, but the people it's for, will be in love with doing that level of fun and work and, and, you know, and growth. And so I'm really, and so that's for me is a big revelation in my own process is, is like, Oh, like stop trying to make it for PBS, nothing wrong right. with PBS, but like, I, I'm not, I, I need to just be true to myself and be my own damn brand of yeah. what it is. Yeah. Right. Which is a little too close to Howard Stern, but, but still Howard Stern for self-help, right? Like in a little girly package, right? Yeah. And listen, if you want a little bit of ass kicking and <laughs> some hand holding and some playfulness around it too, like it, it really is what will work that I'm sure. Yeah. If you do it, it will work. Yes. And it, and, it, and it will make you laugh and cry and have you understand that it really is your inner dialogue it, and how to forgive your parents and how to accept your issue with alcohol and how to, how to have you get who you are and love yourself regardless of where we all came, like what's happening on this planet, which is we must be here to clean up the mess because there's so much mess. Yeah. 
so true. And it's time. It's time for more people to be showing up in their full, full power. So awesome. So, and if you guys in my community want to get a discount code, there's a discount code that you can use Sati Life 100 and you'll get a discount. Hundred dollars off, which is actually going to be real because unless you're really connected to us, you're not getting the discount. It's not just some random thing. It really is because we love Patricia's people who would then potentially love me. Yes. Right? So you know, some percent. Good gamble. It's a good gamble. <laughs> if you loved me and I kicked your ass and you liked what I did, well then yeah. the odds are that for sure. For sure. I talk about you all the time. I still talk about you all the time, especially when we talk about integrity, telling the truth, keeping your promises. Like That's not exactly language that I use, but I always reference you as I understand the power of the shift and the commitment to that and how truly life-altering truly life altering like come i'm a completely different human than when i met you it's like completely and i thought i was pretty badass back then too you well you there were ways you weren't allowed to tell people what you really thought yeah and there were ways you didn't go through the entire process of figuring out what was true for you about love like you Mm -hmm. needed to like go on all the dates and figure Mm -hmm. it all out until you came to your real person Mm -hmm. right there was like you needed someone pushing you in the areas that were really hard for you to believe in yourself yeah yeah and you know you were great and awesome and you already were a lot you're not a surprise from where you are today from where you were at all Mm -hmm. like right but that you would be in love and happy in a love life with a woman that was not we didn't know where the fuck that was yeah right we didn't know that was not in the books and then and then um just really being allowed to do your career the way you want yeah and transition from this to that and to be a spiritual leader and really to get married the Even to get married, I was not on the track for getting, I'm like, I'm married? No, it's not, I don't believe in it. It's not, and, and I have such an amazing, an amazing marriage and partner. Yeah. I remember, really- I remember us sitting and you crying in, in the window at an equinox and being like, I don't believe I could have my life and my three children and I'll awesome. be happy. I was like, Fuck you! <laughs> Who said that? Your inner dial. Shut it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like who's I in there? Love you so much. I really, really, really do, and I'm forever waving your flag and believe that what you are here to do in the world is make massive, massive change. And I'm so grateful that we met and that our paths crossed. And I really hope a lot of people, especially in my community, that are already in this conversation, if they want that extra clarity and help and support, they actually do it. Yes. Yay for mapping it out and planning Mm -hmm. it out and getting very serious about how. Yeah, for sure. Not just love. Yeah. How. I'm yeah. a little I'm a little in the how business. Yes, you're good at it too. Yeah. Thank well, you. I love you and keep me posted and we'll have to play soon together. Eventually. Eventually. Otherwise, I'll have to keep meeting you on Facebook. Yes, and which is <laughs> something, something. I love you. I love you. Goodbye, honey. Bye, everybody. Check it out. It's really, really worth it. At least go make an informed decision. Go go see what it's about. And if it's for you, I really wish you all the best. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.